Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be talking about the stock to buy. It is good for today, tomorrow, even from a short-term trading perspective, Axis Bank. Axis Bank share prices are likely to increase by 10 to 15% in the near term as per our technical observations. Myself, Murugan, I'm a SEBI registered research analyst. I'll be walking you through this observation step-by-step step in next few minutes. If you have a short positions in Axis Bank, or by any chance, if you're planning to buy Axis Bank, or if you look for any near-term tradable opportunities, I see this, this video can help you. As a quick disclaimer, I'm posting this video on a public forum. So make sure that you understand the risk of wide information spread. And if you see still it is so relevant to you, you can capitalize them. So let me quickly get started here. I'm getting into high potential stock selection guide. And to begin with my technical analysis, I'm hitting my submit button. So here is where the list of high potential stocks are available. And I'm picking up this Axis Bank to perform here. So when I get into Axis Bank, a very first question here, it is getting loaded that it is asking me, how is the recent day's price behavior? By looking at the recent day's price behavior, undoubtedly that there is a sharp rally from 1000 till 1130, close to 10% rally did take place in last week. And after testing the, the range low, okay. So I, I use the term, it is significantly positive. And I wish to connect this with the latest news with respect to Axis Bank, because if you look at the last week, the Q4 numbers got released and uh, the loan book especially managed to outperform its recent five-year CAGR that I think it well grown by around 15%. So looking at the share news and the market, that the market discounted it negatively as a surprise number that it witnessed a sharp pullback and then it actually witnessed a gap. And here is where technically we see a likely reversal to happen. A lot of position need to be reversed on which the prices tends to rally further. That's the base observation what we have. So let me take the next step forward here. And the next question is about how is the trading volume in the recent session? No doubt about it. There is a very high volume is witnessed. I can use the term even unusually high volume because in last one year, I never witnessed such a high volume in Access Bank. So that's very a good spot with respect to Access Bank to proceed. So how do I see this going forward? Undoubtedly that I see this from a, a, a positive, a bullish perspective. And the next question is, uh, do you see any price pattern formation here? Okay, if you look at any price pattern formation, the very first thing that I do is I'll take about a quite a good amount of data here and look at last two, three years of data that... Uh, the the structure is very positive okay and every time it goes like a higher top higher bottom higher top higher bottom and the stock is also nearing the recent high and it's a healthy correction has also taken place like every time the market takes a, you know, quite a good amount of correction if you look at this rally you know you got a corrections here and if you look at uh you know here a kind of a good correction here and now the correction is a pretty healthy correction is did take place here this range Okay, so I use the term better higher top, higher bottom because I don't see anything called double bottom here, a flag here, triangle. Otherwise, rather I say higher bottom, higher top is very much visible. So you're asking me to you know, highlight the higher top and higher bottom. So I'm talking about especially uh, this particular uh, rally, okay, breaking the previous top as a higher top and higher bottom. So I hope you got some clarity in terms of looking at the stock here, okay. Okay, do you see any candlestick patterns here? No, I don't see any candlestick patterns here, okay? And uh, so I, I better say there is no specific observation. We are not looking at it from a, a swing perspective, rather it is good even from a positional perspective. Okay, here is the very interesting observation. Has the stock experienced any significant gap? Okay, now yes, it did witness a gap. So yes, there was a gap here, okay? And we call this particular gap as area gap because this particular gap appeared within the trading range. If you look at the trading range here, okay, here is where this particular gap appeared. So I call this as an area gap here, okay. So if I call this as an area gap, they're asking me to uh, present it. The reason why, you know, in this workflow that I'm, I'm presenting everything in detail because even if you practice using this particular workflow, we can actually review them. Am I right? So for, to review your charts, okay, we need a better presentation. So I'm walking you through with all these features as well. So make sure that don't just look at the charts. Rather, if you uh, point it really well, you now it becomes easier for us to present it or give you reviews. So here is where the area gap that I'm actually witnessing here. Okay, uh, what does this area gap indicates? Remember one thing, area gap ideally needs to have a less volume, but here it's a quite suspicious because the area gap had a very high volume. So this is uh, you know, one reason why that it has to be a very 
closely tracked and it is quite suspicious. So going forward, how one can capitalize? Number one, if you are a trader looking for a stock to buy, you can definitely consider Access Bank, okay, because it is an early indication because a very high volume and by any chance, if this particular gap is not getting filled, a few days of consolidation and then breaking above 1150, uh, uh, no, this become a very good opportunity to buy and capitalize it with the area gap remains open along with high volume. Am I right? So we this can be taken as an early indication of a strength is the choice that I'm giving you. And they're asking me to look at any RSA observation. So I can parallel if I want to apply this here. My base approach here is through price action. So I have uh, re less relevance with respect to indicators. But even if you look at the uh, you know RSI, it has nothing to do with respect to overbought or oversold and too early for me to talk about even the, um, you know, the trending behavior. But if you look at the recent behavior here, okay, although it formed a lower bottom here and you see that RSI managed to sustain this uh, 40, 40 mark and able to have a very good consolidation. So I don't see anything much here, okay, but proper kind of positive divergence that you can actually highlight it here, okay. So when sketching the trend lines on channel, okay, do you see anything with respect to channels? Now I wish to ignore this at this moment because it's morely on the price action. Even I don't take much of the moving average uh, to justify this particular one, okay. So if I, so if, how do I actually capitalize this? This is definitely a stock which is very good to buy. So I take this clue as to a stock to buy here, okay? And even if you have any short positions, I recommend you to exit the short position because considering such a, a good rally along with this gap with high volume about to break the range, it is alarming that if you hold the short positions, uh, figure out any, any quick time for you to exit. We don't have to wait any further. Like we can definitely consider to uh, buy this particular position. Okay, now they're asking me why you have to buy this because area gap with high volume as an indication for strength. Okay, and the recent range breakout is expected. So mark the clear entry target stop loss on the chart. So okay, it's very important that we present things accordingly. So probably what we can do is we can close this. Okay. So to mark the uh, long position, I wish to uh, take the position above the recent high, which is around 1150. And I wish to keep the stop loss uh, comfortably below the low. Even if you want to keep the conservative stop loss from a short term perspective, this can be placed somewhere at this level. Okay by placing the stop loss somewhere around, uh, you know, around 150 points lower here, okay? And then take the targets accordingly. Take the targets accordingly. Okay, this uh, presentation of entry target stop loss is more from a short-term trading perspective. And this way that you can see about 10 to 15% rally is likely to happen. But if you are planning to buy the stock from intraday perspective, make sure that you get adequate support from the global markets and the banking industry as such, because we see that Access Bank likely to outperform other companies if the market scenarios little favors them. So by doing this EOD end of the day analysis, Analysis, the stock looks very attractive from the intraday perspective as well or anytime when you see a kind of marginal pullback where the price breaks the previous day high and then if it gives you a tradable opportunities make sure that you capitalize them even from a short term perspective. I hope you got some clarity in terms of how to pick up the stock. So what is the tentative holding period for this particular stock? Probably it's good for a month. So if you are an option uh, trading strategist, you can even take this as a direction indication to form uh, positions in Axis Bank stock options. Okay. So I hope you got some clarity in terms of how to pick stocks. So if you have any other view, any different opinions to be expressed, uh, you can put a comments in the below section. Or if you really want to participate as a part of this workflow, it is a free sign up that it will walk you through a step by step analysis. If you want to take part of it, you're most welcome to it. Thanks for watching this particular video. Wish to see you at the next video as well. Thank you.